Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced and I'm a developer advocate here at Dremio and today what I want to do is talk about the different types of sources you can connect to your Dremio cloud account um, and that you can use as an iceberg catalog. Okay, the first one's going to be Arctic. So again, this is going to be in the data as code category. So I would just click add source. Adding an Arctic catalog is the easiest thing possible because it's part of the Dremio platform. All you would do is you just click on add an Arctic source and if you don't already have an Arctic catalog, you can just click on new Arctic catalog. It'll just ask you for a name. And in a moment, you will have an Arctic catalog. Okay, and they'll show up over here on the side like this. What makes the Arctic catalog unique is that it gives you the data as code paradigm, meaning you'll be able to create branches, merge branches. So I can, anytime I'm running queries, I could be switching whether which branch that I'm working from. So I can see here, I can choose from different branches. In the same way you would use Git to isolate work on code, you could use Arctic to isolate work on your data. So you can isolate ETL workloads, uh, be able to roll back data to previous commits. It even has its own separate UI. So if I go over here and say, hey, I'm gonna go take a look at my Arctic catalogs. I can take a look at any of my Arctic catalogs and I can go browse the different branches. I can go take a look at the different commits, transactions that I can roll back to. So if I make a mistake, I can just always roll back to a previous commit. I can tag certain commits to make them easier to query if I need to query previous states of my tables. Um, and again, I can create branches. I can then merge those branches here from the UI or from SQL statements. And the great thing is I can do all of this not just from here in Dremio, but I could also be doing it from uh, Spark, from Flink, and other engines because it's all backed by the open source project, Project Nessie, which gives you this really sort of awesome catalog feature. So that's the first source. So let me go back to my Sonar project. Now our second source is AWS Glue. Okay, so I can go over here to add sources. I can say, hey, I want to add an AWS Glue catalog, give it a name, put in my credentials, and then that can be used as a place to create iceberg tables. So that means I'm going to get full access to iceberg DML. So I can actually use the SQL editor to create tables. I can run CTAS statements to convert other data sources into tables in my Glue or Arctic catalog. Um, as iceberg tables and you get all the benefits that iceberg brings with it um, you know such as time travel such as um, you know hidden partitioning uh, partition evolution and all these other really cool benefits that iceberg tables bring okay which again now allows you to do more ETL type work here from Dremio with its nice easy UI now the last source you can use is Amazon S3 so I can go over here and again I can click Amazon S3 and then that could also be treated as a, a Arctic catalog. Now, what if you use Azure? What if you use Google Cloud? Well, there's also Dremio software, okay? So while um, over time, Dremio Cloud will eventually have support for Azure and Google Cloud, Dremio software has support for Azure and Google Cloud today, as well as Hive. So there you can use Hive as an iceberg catalog, you can use Azure as an iceberg catalog, you can use Google Cloud as an iceberg catalog, so bottom line is that Dremio has a solution to work with whatever you're currently using to make your life with your data lake easier and being able to harness the power of Apache Iceberg so that way you get all those extra features that will just kind of give you a better experience with working your data on the data lake. So my name is Alex Brissett. I'm a developer advocate here at Dremio. I'll see you all later on. Have a great day and enjoy.